Good morning, everybody. It's now five in the morning, and I am finally able to get the first little bits of an additional subtype for more games to go into Linux MC's game functionality. Uh, as a test, I tested adding the Atari 2600 game system. And I'm not really going to go through very many features. You've already seen most of it uh, with other screencasts. I'm just going to take a quick uh, tour through uh, some of the things that I've done here. Now, uh, you'll see here that I actually have uh, an orbiter uh, that I have configured with my new titanium skin here. And I'm basically going to go to... Uh, I'm basically going to go to games here. Now you'll pardon the look on this particular skin. Uh, I'm still working on various bits and pieces of it. And as you can see here, you'll flip through, and I have lots of arcade games that I've pulled in from uh, that I've pulled in from uh, Mame here. But you'll also see that there are uh, that there is a 2600 game just kind of floating by here. It's floating by here primarily because. Uh, I haven't set any filters yet, so I'm going to go ahead and go into options and set some filters. Again, I apologize for the look here, why well, you can't read the text. But I'm going to go ahead and select the Atari 2600 game type here, and I'm going to go ahead and click go. And watch what happens here. Look here, I've gone ahead and gone through and made cover art for all of these games here. And I'm still in the process of putting them in here. But it just kind of gives you a quick idea of these are all the different uh, Atari 2600 games here. So I'm going to go ahead and pick Yara's Revenge. Nice little cover right there. Yara's Revenge metadata right there. I'm going to go ahead and hit play. And as you can see here when it starts, uh, that this... Uh, that there actually is a specific remote control for the 2600 here. I know it looks a bit spartan, but the 2600 didn't really do much. And I'll probably add a couple of extra buttons here for setting difficulty and whatnot. But as you can see, it has its own control panel here due to patches that I've recently made to the game plugin. And as we can see here, here is Yara's Revenge running in its full glory right here. So. Doo -doo 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 -doo. <laughs> I mean, yeah, there we go. And if we look at the on-screen display, we'll see pretty much that it also has its own pop-up here, too, as well, which... Gosh, it's too bright to see, but yes, it has its own pop-up complete and everything in every way, and all of the functions and features work. I'm going to go ahead and go to games here. And I'm going to go to give you an idea, a view here of the game library here from UI2. See? Oh, nice and beautiful. And I've gone through and hand tagged each one of these so that it has cover art. <laughs> and there's combat for you. <laughs> well, anyway, so there we go. Uh, I hope you all have... Whoops, sorry. I hope you've all enjoyed this, and uh, look. Uh, I hope to show you a lot more emulator system types in the coming weeks. I'm sorry, I'm half asleep, so I'm going to go to bed now. Talk to you guys later. Bye.